Can plants eat me? Hmm. That's, that's a pretty good question. Most plants get their food from the sun through photosynthesis, but some prefer the sweet taste of death. Carnivorous plants. There are over 630 species of plants that attract, trap, and digest the nutrients of their prey. They do so because they have adapted to live in environments with poor or very thin soil, typically ones that don't fulfill their panty needs, like acidic bogs. So in turn, they supplement their nitrogen hunger by eating animals. Most of the time, these plants are consuming insects like flies, mosquitoes, and spiders. Sometimes they have been known to chow down on much larger subjects like rats, mice, frogs, and even birds. The plants digest their prey with their own digestive enzymes, but also by bacteria living on the plant's leaves. The bacteria in turn breaks down the proteins of these caught prey into nutrients, which can be absorbed through the plant's leaves. This is actually very similar to how the human intestine works. Speaking of humans, are we in danger? All right, let's break this down mathematically. The largest Venus flytrap belongs to the Dionea B52, standing a whopping seven inches tall, with traps just over two and a quarter inches. It can eat a fly up to about a half inch long. So by height comparisons alone with the average human, being five feet, six inches tall, which translates into 66 inches tall, the Venus flytrap would have to be 77 feet tall. That's two school buses standing on top of each other. Long ways. So, until that happens, I think we'll be good.